I'm Chris Duke, and this is Motors. In a previous episode of Motors, we showed you how to install an Alpine Electronics head unit with all the available accessories. Now, one of those accessories was a Sirius XM satellite receiver and vehicle kit, but there's so much to install in that video, we really kind of glanced over all the details. Up till now on Motors, we've been all trucks and SUVs, but now we're also going to start working on some muscle cars. So today we're going to show you how to install a Sirius satellite receiver and vehicle kit on our 2008 Ford Mustang GT. Now our Mustang here has got a stock AM FM radio, but we don't like FM because it sounds horrible. It's full of ads, it's got a limited range, and what's with the Giganto antenna, Ford? What were you thinking? So we're going to solve this problem by installing a Stratus receiver from Sirius XM, which is going to give us nationwide satellite radio with no ads, and it's uncensored for the most part. Now, you can buy it online or you can get it at any consumer electronics store. There's a monthly service that ranges anywhere from seven to thirteen dollars per month. Now you can get a professional to install this but it's so easy to install I recommend you do it and we're going to show you how. But first let's take a look at the vehicle installation kit see what's involved. Now there's absolutely no tools required for this installation which is great but we do recommend that you get some of these trim panel removal tools which you may need for your installation. There's a link at our website at www.motors.tv. Now the receiver, this is the Stratus, looks like this and it's pretty thin. You can put it just about anywhere inside your vehicle. And here's the magnetic antenna, an optional FM antenna, and then the docking station here which has the inputs and the outputs. And finally, there's a cigarette lighter adapter right here, which gives power to the unit. Now, you're also going to need to get this auxiliary cable here, which is going to allow the signal to go from the docking station to your head unit. Now, you can pick these up online. There's a link at our website as well. Now, finally, we recommend that you keep the box. And the reason is, is because it's got this SID number on here, and you're going to need this for activation later. Now there's a couple different mounting locations on this Mustang. We could mount it right up here by the A-pillar, but we're probably going to put some gauges up here at some point in the future, so we don't want to put it there. You can also mount it right here in the center of the dash or down here by the radio, but in all three locations we don't want to do that because we're going to have to drill into the dash, which we don't want to do, and you're going to have about three cables that are coming out of this thing. You're going to have to route those all over the place, but as it turns out, the auxiliary input in this Mustang is right here in the middle of the center console, so that's where this bad boy is going to go. Now we figured out a good location for the receiver here in the center console. It's time to mount the Sirius satellite antenna. Now this thing's magnetic and you can put it just about anywhere, but where Sirius recommends you do it is up here on the roof, about three inches in from where the metal starts, right in the center. Now this wire is going to go along the top of the window here, down the side, into the trunk, through the back seats and up to the center console. I'm going to show you how to do that next. Now here's a motor's tip. You want to measure the exact center of your roof and then mark it with a piece of tape. Now Siri supplies this adapter that's got some adhesive on the back, so you want to peel that off. Now this is three inches long, so it kind of takes the guesswork out of figuring out three inches in from where the metal starts. Now take that and just push it down carefully and press on that so the adhesive has time to stick to your roof. And then route the wire along the top of the window, around the corner, down the side of the window, and into the trunk. Now that the antenna wire is down alongside the window, we've got to put it in the trunk now. So lift up the trunk. And what we're going to do is we're going to fish it in here underneath this molding. But before we do that, there's some sharp metal right here. So grab a piece of electrical tape where the wire is going to go over. And put a piece of tape there just so it doesn't rub and prevent a problem. And pull that wire in. And position it over your tape. Give it a little bit of slack back here and push that molding back down on top of it, just like that. Now it's inside your trunk, so now we can route it up through the back seats. Now with all the wire in the trunk, you want to go back down here and pull this carpet back on the side as well as on the bottom. Where well, we're going to route this wire is through here and up just behind that seat belt right there.
Now you want to leave some slack here for where it's going to go underneath the carpet. Route this behind the seat belt, just like this. We've got the wire coming out from behind the seat belt here, so we want to tuck this real good behind the side of the seat, down along the front of the seat, tucking it in there as much as we can, over to the center console, just like that, and open up the center console, kind of route this wire up along the side of it, tuck all the rest of this cable inside, because that's where our receiver's going to go. That's where we're also going to get power for the receivers inside there. Now for a more professional installation, you'll want to remove the entire center console itself and get this underneath the carpet and pop it up inside. But just for ease of installation, this isn't that big of a deal. Now welcome to the center console. Right here we've got our line input. That's for our audio signal. And this is a 12 volt power. That's where we're going to get our power from. Now we've already got our antenna wire right here. So let's hook that up first to the receiver. That's going to go right here. And next we want to do our audio signal. So we've got our cable here. We're going to plug that in there. I'm going to take the other end and plug it in down here. Now for our power, we've got our cigarette lighter adapter right here. So we're going to plug right here. And then right into there. Now at this point, we've got everything plugged in the way it's supposed to be, but we've got to activate it. So take your SID number and give Sirius a call so that you can activate it, and then we'll check it out. Now you can go online to their website to activate your new receiver, or you can give them a call, which is what we did. Now all you're going to need to give them is your SID number, and if you haven't set up your payment plan yet, you'll have to do that at that time. Now in order for this to work, we had to pull our Mustang out of the shop a little bit here because the antenna that's on the roof needs to have a direct line of sight with the satellite up in the sky. So now that that's done, let's turn it on and see what happens here. Yeah, there you have it. Looks like everything's working just fine and it sounds great. The Sirius XM Satellite Receiver Kit is just mindless to install. Now while your application may differ from our Mustang here, all the parts of the kit are exactly the same. So for more tips, head on over to Sirius.com install. They've got a lot more information there at their own website. That does it for this episode of Motors. For more of our videos, head on over to www.motors.tv and please be sure to subscribe to our podcast on Apple iTunes and also TiVo. Check this out. I'm Chris Duke and this <laughs> is stupid. <laughs> hey, right, right. And please be sure to subscribe. <laughs> Why so serious? Ugh. Yeah, this is going well. Oh, good lord. I'm too big for this trunk. Man. Okay, this is working. Oh yeah, I'm feeling it. Still glowing in the dark, that is the coolest thing. It's got this little dude. It's got an arrow pointing out of the trunk, and then the dude's running. <laughs> okay. oh. It's far easier getting out than in. Let me tell you that much. Oh. So serious. Bye, Cruel World.